So check this out. I can make lines and dots. What could be cooler than that? Let's take a closer look. So this is a Heathkit Color Generator IG5240. And it must have been used back in the days of old school TV. And fortunately, I have this super cool MGA Mitsubishi old school black and white TV. Because it is black and white, I will not be able to test color. On the back of the TV, you hook it up to VHF. At the bottom here, it has a series of switches. If the switch is in the up position, it's one. If it's in the bottom position, it's a zero. So there's obviously 16 possible images that you can test. And those 16 images are laid out here. Three are color, the rest are black and white, patterns of dots and lines. So if you want to test to see if you can get a crosshatch, you do zero, one, one, zero. So zero, one, zero, zero. If I had color, I could test it one, 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 one. There is an on and off here. You simply press the button to make it go on, off. It didn't seem like the off switch was always working. This apparently increases the color level, but again, I wasn't able to test that. Four screws on the back that you have to remove to get in and place the batteries. Heath kits are kits that you put together yourself. Some of them are very collectible. Again, model IG5240, series 04822. Here are the components themselves. You see it takes two nine volt batteries. My understanding is you had to put this circuit board together. It was not pre-made. Does have a chip here. What is 1727MM5322N? Not sure where the manufacturer of that is. With the batteries out. I don't know. Pretty cool, right? There it is. One, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, a bunch of grids. And now the piece de la resistance, zero, one, zero, zero, the grid. Now, if you just want a bunch of dots, one dot, one, 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 zero, more dots, and even more dots, really probably hard to see, but they are definitely there. Line, more lines, even more lines. Vertical test of one line. More vertical lines, and even more vertical lines. I don't know about you, but that's pretty cool, isn't it? Thanks for watching, and please consider subscribing. Remember, a thumbs up never hurt no one.